doing tonight anyway? Do you guys enjoy all the bands tonight? Come on, give it up for the Penny Blacks, Wood and Wise, Shinjuku Mad, and Adam Mowry. Not very often that you get to see a caliber of artists like that for free. A lot of great mustaches tonight too, Mowry and Adam Kirsten. They're growing their playoff mustaches. <laughs> the uh, next category is for best concert of the year. The nominees are February 14th, The Valentine's Shows, The Legendary Hard Feelings. Those kids are Jack. The Fundy Fog Festival, which featured the organizers, Hospital Grade, Born Under Satellite, Curbside Project, Stabby Dancers. That was August 16th. And the third nominee was the Adam Mowry CD release at Melvin's on October 31st. Crazy show with flying meat. Mr. T. And the winner is the Hard Feelings at Accords. Come on up, Hard Feelings. everybody from the hard feelings. If you haven't checked out the interview with the hard feelings on Culture Hub, I suggest you do. Up top. The next category is a crazy good one because it's for the uh, best fan. And it sounds tonight like we have a lot of people that might be in the running for next year. The nominees in this category are Nick Cameron. Yeah. Barb Crawford. And our friend from afar, Miss Linda Peltier. Linda, if you're watching right now, come home. Come back, please. Book some shows. We miss you. So the winner of Best Fan in St. John 2009 is Nick Cameron! Right. Thank you. I'd like to thank uh, the three most important women in my life. Uh, my mom, uh, Linda Pelche, and my roommate's cat. Uh, Susie, for the encouragement and uh, support, and uh, this is really fun. Thanks a lot, guys. This is really, uh, yeah, I've had this much fun in a while. Special thanks uh, for uh, Mr. Chris Fudge for working the boards here tonight. So give him a big round of applause. He's been in the music for us. He's got two kids now, so he's like twice as busy. The next award is for Best Musician. The nominees for this category are Sean Boyer. Adam Kirstead. Adam Mowry. Oh no, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and the winner for Best Musician is Adam Mowry. <laughs> Anyone who's played with me knows I only know a few chords on guitar. Theory, but uh, I like to jump, 
And uh, you guys like to see me jump around, so I appreciate that. I, li I like to think this award is for shaking my head around, and I do that a lot, so. <laughs> Dig that? Thank you, St. John. Adam Murray. Please note that he went straight for the award. Not even my hand. Bad protocol. You've been up here so many times, you think you would know better. Adam swept the awards last year, if anybody remembers. That'll add to his pile. I think I saw one at the Adelaide Street Hawk Shop, actually. It was sad. I'm a little disappointed by that comment. You do what you, you got? I put a lot of time in those. You know how much wood I had to whittle to make those? Oh my gosh. The next category is for the best new artist. It's been a crazy good year for that. We had guys like David Elliott and we had Babette Hayward and just people popping up all the way. Your, sorry, I sniffed. Your uh, nominees for best new artist are the Shinjuku Mad. The Tasty Wangs. You know what would be a really good pairing is the Tasty Wangs and the Hard Feelings. I think, I think I would love to see that show. I think it might be shut down before the end of the show, but I think it would be one heck of a show. Okay, continue, Clint. I'm sorry I interrupted. That's right. And the third nominee is the Telecasts. The winner is the Telecast. Uh, the uh, band is much too young to be in this bar, but accepting on their behalf is Mr. Andrew Maserol. Uh, on behalf of the Telecast, I'd just like to say thanks, Mom. <laughs> As soon as they can all grow a beard, they will be playing here, I swear. Maybe they'll be playing at the Blue Olive, May 28th. Tickets are $5 advance, $7 at the door. Next time I'm gonna pick a co-host that doesn't have a CD coming out. That would probably be a good idea. I've worn this one out. Yeah, well. The next category is for the song of the year. The nominees in this category are Ad Higa for Soon Enough. <laughs> Hospital grade for If I Said Helvetica. Yeah. And Penny Blacks for our old rooms. And the winner for best song is Hospital Grade, If I Said Helvetica. up here. There are the two other members here. Thank you, Sean. Sean Boyer, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I didn't play a note on that record. <laughs> so we'll dedicate, we'll dedicate this one to Mike McAloon. To Mike. <laughs> 